What's up, Nolensville? It's Steven from JC Jack Photography. Many of you have known that I've wanted to start a video series uh, casting a spotlight on senior nights. It's been a lot of hard work and dedication and um, sacrifice uh, for them to uh, get to this point in their career. And before they leave, I want to give an opportunity for them to give a shout out, share some stories, maybe pass on some uh, advice to the younger nights. But uh, just to get to know the um, just to get to know these athletes a little better. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right into episode one. My name is Lucas Pring. I'm a senior at Nolensville High School and I'm a forward on the basketball team. And we caught you today, game day here in a couple hours. What's your, uh, what's your favorite sp um, part about game day? I would say my favorite part about game day is the preparation. I love practicing with my teammates and I just love going out there, hearing that starting lineup song and then walking right out into the student section. I feel like uh, this team this year, uh, I feel like a, a real brotherhood. Like you guys seem really tight. I know you guys have been on a couple trips together and that really helps build like bonding experiences and relationships. I feel like that's been a big part of you guys' success. Yeah, I definitely agree. And our coach has done a great job of spreading us out within age groups. And I think the players have kind of taken on that same initiative and kind of spread to younger groups and everybody's just really tight and really connected, so. That's awesome, it really shows. So, going to game day, are you a music guy? I am a music guy. <laughs> who who has the ox in the, uh, in the locker room? It, it bounces around a little bit. It goes between Jaden, Jason, and me. Okay. Yeah, play a lot of hype music. Okay, Who is? what's the go-to song that's in every, every game day playlist? Mm, I mean, I think Jaden Clark goes to Lil Uzi Vert All more right. than anything else. I don't think I can name one song. It's just, he's the consistent artist. Nice. Yeah. All right, Lucas, so this is your third year playing varsity basketball at Nolensville. I'm sure a lot of memories. Uh, what's your best memory so far of your uh, basketball career at Nolensville? My best memory at Nolensville as a varsity basketball player is last year when I was a junior, we won the first round of the region tournament against Centennial. As it was just really exciting and is something that Nolensville as a basketball program had never done before at this level. I was there. It was a good time. So I also feel you have the opportunity to build upon that this year. What's what's some remaining goals you have for the uh, second half of your senior year? The main goals, I would like a district championship, a region championship. But if those don't happen, the main goal is making it to Murfreesboro and trying to get a state championship. Nice. I feel like this team is probably out of the talent to do so in the depth for sure. What about... Um, Who's had an impact on you? Teacher, coach, last three years, three and a half years, that's had the biggest impact. Who, who has that been and how have they had an impact on you? I would probably say our assistant coach, Coach Brock. I've been able to talk to him about a variety of things. I've been able to talk to him about my faith, my education, and I can just go to him whenever I need to, to have a good conversation. That's good, that's awesome. And so important, especially not only in, in athletes, but in regular students, to have someone that can you can look to as a, as a mentor to lead you up and have the same beliefs that you do to kind of lead you down the right path. Um, and I guess going into that, you have a lot of young guys on this team. We were just out there watching the JV team and some of the, the talent they have. So there's a lot of young talent around you. What's your advice for those guys, freshmen, sophomores coming up? Um, advice for them and maybe things that you've learned that you would have done differently? I think the the biggest thing is just to do everything game speed. Whenever you're in practice, whenever you're on your own shooting, do it like you're going to do it at a game so that it will translate. And then another big thing that I learned recently is to take an off day. Like you have to let your body recover and you have to allow it to heal to be as good as you want to be. Man, that's true in everything. Just a, a day to recharge and sometimes doing mental reps and just just getting away from the court and not only resting your feet, but just resting your body and your mind and soul to be able to come back and be your true self. That's good.
So senior year is coming to an end. We're in the last semester uh, here at Nolansville. Next year, what's next year look like for you? You're still out there searching and looking or have you decided something? I'm still waiting until the end of the season. I'll probably decide where I'm going in the spring, whether that's to play basketball or to not play basketball. But if I decide not to play basketball, I'm looking to go to UTK. And like I said, if it is basketball, then I'm still waiting to decide. Yeah, that's exciting. It's nice to have options. I feel like you have a lot of stuff going on other than basketball also. So uh, look forward to seeing you succeed in whatever you choose for sure. Um, all right. So Nolensville is an athletic uh, sports mecca here. What's your next favorite sport to cheer for or to, to, to be on the sidelines if it's not, uh, not basketball? It's without a doubt football. Nothing beats Friday Night Lights in Nolensville. I have to admit, I've got several pictures of you uh, in, in the stands, uh, acting, acting a fool with the rest of the, the NOLO section, and, and I love it. I mean, obviously, you're right. It, it, it's different. Basketball's fun. Some of the volleyball state, state runs, softballs, it's a good time. I enjoy uh, seeing all of them, which I am lucky to do so, but the football is a good time, especially earlier in the year when it's not freezing cold. Yes. Um, so with that being said, we're wrapping up final season as a night. Um, any words of appreciation, message to others, shout outs, anybody you know that might see this that uh, you give your final uh, final parting take? Yeah. I like to shout out my family just for supporting me in everything I do. I know everybody's got my back in my family. I'd like to shout out my physical therapist, Lauren, Laura and Elaine for helping me get back through so many really bad injuries. And I'd just like to shout out my teammates for always encouraging me and always pushing me to be my best. And I gotta give thanks to Lucas. He, uh, I reached out asking if he'd be interested to this, uh, to be my guinea pig in episode one to, to see how, how this goes. I've met so many great families and athletes at Nolensville since I've started the photography uh, gig here. And just wanted to take a minute to be able to highlight um, a lot of them that are such great kids, great students. Um, the families are awesome. And um, Lucas is number one. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Give it a like, share it. We've already got the next couple episodes lined up. I'm also taking more nominees. I love athletes in season, but we're starting a little late. I know there's a lot of great um, lady soccer players, volleyball players, football players. Maybe we could highlight and uh, shine a light so you get to know them a little better. And uh, we'll be back at you soon again next week. See you soon. That wraps up the first episode. Thanks for watching. Episode two coming soon.